Hi guys, and welcome to Strength Universe. David Prowse was a British bodybuilder, weightlifter and actor, whose tremendous size and strength earned him the iconic role of Darth Vader in the Star Wars trilogy. He was born David Charles Prowse on the 1st of July 1935 in Bristol, England, where he was brought up on the South Mead housing estate. At 11 years old, he attended Bristol Grammar School. There he excelled at sport and dreamt of playing rugby for England. However, his hopes were crushed after being diagnosed with tuberculosis of the knee at the age of 13. Despite the tuberculosis tests coming back negative, the condition of his knee was so bad that Prowse would have to spend several months in hospital and two years shackled to a leg caliper. Following his treatment, Prowse took up swimming to regain the strength in his leg. In fact, it would be on the way home from the local swimming pool one day in 1951 that Prowse caught a glimpse of a rippling torso on the cover of a muscle mag in a shop window. From this moment on, Prowse became determined to build a similar physique. It was around this time that David first started bodybuilding, after his brother-in-law purchased a Charles Atlas course of physical self-improvement. The course didn't involve the use of any weights, but instead lauded under the title Dynamic Tension, that in reality was nothing more than static contractions, combined with basic exercises such as press-ups, sit-ups and leg raises. Although the course was basic, it wasn't long before David first saw signs of progress. However, at 6 foot 5 inches tall and weighing only 72 kilograms or 160 pounds, he wasn't blessed with the best genetics, but flushed with his early success, he started training even harder. From there, he graduated to buying his own set of weights, and from then on, trained either at home or with other dedicated enthusiasts. He entered his first bodybuilding competition in 1955, where he finished runner-up behind Ron Thomas. David competed several more times over the following four years, but always finished in second or third place to shorter but more proportional bodybuilders. By the time David arrived at the 1960 NABBA Mr Universe, he'd grown to a build height of 6 foot 7 inches tall and tipped the scales at 110 kilograms or 241 pounds. But despite this huge increase in size, he still didn't carry enough mass to fill out his tall frame. After another disappointing finish, David turned his back on bodybuilding. During the next few months, David trained and competed in what was referred to as the strength set. At that time, he was able to squat 168 kilograms or 370 pounds, bench press 177 kilograms, and perform a strict military press of 109 kilograms or 240 pounds. He then set his sights on Olympic weightlifting, and in his first year of competition, won the Western Counties title, before going on to place third at the British Championships. Just one year later, he returned to win the British heavyweight title, and was subsequently invited to the World Championships in Budapest and the Commonwealth Games in Perth, Australia, where sadly he failed to achieve a total. During the same year, he was witnessed and photographed lifting the Dinny Stones by the famous strongman historian and promoter David Webster, who stated that Prowse had lifted the stone six times consecutively, becoming only the third man in history to accomplish such a feat. David then competed at and won the British heavyweight crown for the following two years consecutively in 1963 and 64, but then faced the disappointment of not getting selected to compete at the Tokyo Olympics, which forced his early retirement. After this decision, David formed a professional act dubbing himself as Britain's Strongest Man, became Director of Weight Training at the National Sports Centre at Crystal Palace, and was appointed the European Sales Manager and Assistant Editor for the Weeder Company. He also endorsed a bull worker and opened his own gymnasium. During this time, David had increased his body weight to 127 kilograms and set a British record for the deadlift with a pull of 307 kilograms or 678 pounds, 
He was able to perform a strict barbell curl with 92 kilograms or 202 pounds, both incredible feats of strength that were very close to the world records of that period. The next year, David took part in an exhibition, at which his intention was to break his own British deadlift record. Here, he was to attempt to pull with 700 pounds, having reached this weight during an intensive six-week training camp leading up to the record attempt. Unfortunately, the stage was deemed unsafe to support such a weight, so at short notice, David gave a Herculean display with the following lifts performed in quick succession. A hang clean and press of 139 kilograms for three reps, a behind the neck jerk of 152 kilograms for three reps, and finally, the maximum permissible deadlift of 240 kilograms. Shortly afterwards, to satisfy his competitive spirit, David took up professional Highland Games, in which he took third place at the World Caper Tossing Championship and was subsequently sponsored by McVitie's Biscuits to tour the world giving exhibitions of the Highland Games while at the same time promoting the interest of British exports. It was from this time that David started to land roles befitting his size in several films and TV series. His big break would come in 1971, when he landed the role of Julian in Stanley Kubrick's critically acclaimed movie A Clockwork Orange, that would require David to perform the following notable feat of strength. I mean, you want me to carry Patrick McGee, who must weigh 170 odd pounds, plus the wheelchair, which is probably another 30 pounds. I said, you're asking, asking me to carry 200 pounds down the stairs. And he said, yeah, you can do it, you say. And I said, yeah, I know, but your name is not one Tate Kubrick, is it, you say? And In 1971, the British government's Central Office of Information came up with the idea of the Green Cross Code, for which David Prowse was selected to play the role of the superhero for a series of public information films that would run from 1975 until 1990, for which Prowse would later receive an MBE from Queen Elizabeth. It was Prowse's earlier physicality in A Clockwork Orange that brought him to the attention of George Lucas, that would later earn him the role of Darth Vader in Star Wars. However, while David physically fitted the role, his jovial West Country accent earned him the nickname Darth Farmer. Tearing this ship apart piece by piece until you've found those tapes. Find the passengers of this vessel. I want them alive! And thus, James L. Jones was later hired to provide the darker, more menacing voice that George Lucas was looking for. You are part of a rebel alliance and a traitor. Over the next few years, Prowse returned to reprise his role in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. However, he was not happy with the studio's decision to dub his voice. And this, along with allegedly dropping spoilers, led to a dispute between Lucasfilms and himself, that in 2010 would lead to him being banned from attending official Star Wars conventions. It was during this period of time that Prowse opened an additional two gymnasiums and became the trainer of choice for many studios and celebrities. His clients included Christopher Reeves, who Prowse helped to bulk up to fulfill his role as the Man of Steel, Daniel Day-Lewis and Vanessa Redgrave, along with many others. In fact, so star-studded was his list of clients that the Sunday Times newspaper described Prowse as the world's number one personal trainer. For the following three decades, David Prowse continued to weight train regularly, released books, attended comic cons, and appeared in several films until 2016, when his health started to deteriorate and he retired from public appearances. He would sadly pass away on the 28th of November 2020, aged 85, after a short, unspecified illness. Please leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts and memories of David Prowse. That's it for the video, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help to support my channel by hitting like, sharing the video, and subscribing for more. Thank you.